The Phantom Express program sought to build a reusable spacecraft that could be used to launch satellites into orbit every 24 hours during 10 days with minimal maintenance. The implications would give the United States the upper hand if an orbital war were to break out. Ever since the Cold War's technological revolution, engineers have tried to develop a sustainable spacecraft that could be used multiple times while saving millions of dollars. American and Russian companies have unsuccessfully embarked on such projects for decades. However, a joint venture in the early 2010s between the American Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency and renowned aircraft company Boeing sought to change that. The XS-1 spacecraft, or Phantom Express, was expected to launch vertically, deliver its ordnance in the atmosphere at Mach 10 speeds, and then make its way back to Earth, landing horizontally like most modern aircraft. It could carry a payload of up to 5,000 pounds, and each ride would cost less than $5 million. The plan was ambitious, and the entire world was eager to see how it revolutionized space aeronautics. The XS-1 program. In early 2015, experts from DARPA, the American Advanced Research Projects Agency, announced that they plan to spend more than $800 million on space programs from 2015 to 2018. DARPA's main focus for years had been to seek high-risk, high-reward technological development projects that could benefit the military. More often than not, the projects ended in failure. But intelligence from these experiments has proven helpful for future endeavors. There's even an inside joke among government officials that classify almost impossible tasks as DARPA hard. In their 2015 announcement, DARPA specified that at least $27 million would be required to research the possibilities of developing a reusable spacecraft named XS-1, an abbreviation for Experimental Space Plane 1. The agency stated that, quote, technologies derived from the XS-1 program will enable routine space launch capabilities with aircraft-like cost, operability, and reliability. The long-term intent is for XS-1 technologies to be transitioned to support not only next-generation launch for government and commercial customers, but also global reach hypersonic and space access aircraft. No more details were provided, but the agency added that they hoped to select a vendor in the following years to help develop the desired space vehicle. The perfect candidate soon arrived. Boeing. In May of 2017, DARPA and Boeing Aircraft Company announced that they would be working together in the XS-1 program. DARPA selected Boeing's Phantom Works division to develop the design of the agency's experimental space plane, which would be called the Phantom Express. Boeing's Specialized Military Division is credited with producing some of America's most iconic and efficient drones, such as the Phantom Eye, the Phantom Ray, the Condor, and the Hummingbird. For this task, Phantom Works was allowed to design a reusable spacecraft capable of hypersonic speeds, suitable for commercial satellite launches and quick response operations for military use. During the press conference announcement, Daryl Davis, Boeing Phantom Works president, said, quote, Phantom Express is designed to disrupt and transform the satellite launch process as we know it today, creating a new, on-demand space launch capability that can be achieved more affordably and with less risk. DARPA then specified the project's objectives in a tantalizing press release that took the world by storm. The agency stated that in an era of tight budgets, quick and affordable access to space had turned critical for economic and national security. Nevertheless, DARPA continued, Launch costs consumed hundreds of millions of dollars, and every year, costs seemed to literally skyrocket. According to Jess Sponable, the agency's program manager, the solution laid in the XS-1 program, which would develop, quote, a fully reusable unmanned vehicle that would provide aircraft-like access to space and deploy small satellites to orbit using expendable upper stages. XS-1 seeks to deploy small satellites faster and more affordably and develop technology for next-generation hypersonic vehicles. The innovative aircraft would do 10 rounds in 10 days at Mach 10 speeds, launching up to 5,000 pound payloads into orbit at the cost of fewer than $5 million per flight. If successful, the Phantom Express spacecraft would become the fastest and cheapest space vehicle to date, including the SpaceX launches. 
DARPA and Boeing immediately began to work on the project behind a secret curtain. The Phantom Express. The XS-1 program was inspired by previous attempts to develop a reusable space launch vehicle. The Rockwell X-30 and the X-33 Venture Star were some of the prototypes that never materialized due to technological drawbacks during the 1980s and 90s. But this time, DARPA was confident that the Phantom Express vehicle was achievable. The spacecraft was to be powered by an Aerojet Rocketdyne AR-22 engine and other recycled parts that were initially built for the U.S. Space Shuttle program. Although cutting-edge technology is constantly developed in the space industry, reusing decades-old equipment has remained a common practice. The Phantom Express was described as a VTHL, or Vertical Takeoff Horizontal Landing Vehicle. Will Hampton, Boeing's Phantom Express program manager, described the unique way in which the spacecraft would operate during a Boeing press conference. Quote, Our design would allow the autonomous booster to carry the second stage and payload to high altitude and deploy them into space. The booster would then return to Earth, where it could be quickly prepared for the next flight by applying operation and maintenance principles similar to modern aircraft. The spacecraft would be composed of two major components. First, the rocket-powered space plane, basically a state-of-the-art drone. And second, the payload that would make its way into orbit during the final phase. Comparisons with the secret X-37B vehicle that Boeing had built for the U.S. Air Force in the past were inevitable. Analysts wondered if the Phantom Express would be a space plane or a mini-space shuttle. It was said to use a shuttle engine, but it was almost the size of the X-37B. Not much is known about the X-37B after it was overtaken by the military in 2004, but it was said to be about 29 feet long and 9.5 and feet tall, with a wingspan of fewer than 15 feet. Program manager Jess Sponable clarified some details during an interview with Space.com, quote, the XS-1 would be neither a traditional airplane nor a conventional launch vehicle, but rather a combination of the two, with the goal of lowering launch costs by a factor of 10 and replacing today's frustratingly long wait time with launch on demand. Experts speculated that the Phantom Express could not be considered a shuttle, as it would have less than 12 times the capacity of one. In addition, it would not have the necessary energy to take its payload into orbit like a shuttle would do, a task that DARPA never envisioned. When it came to operations, the spacecraft would resemble the first stage of a Falcon 9 rocket, and its physical appearance would be more similar to that of the Space Shuttle Orbiter. In his report, Phantom Express, the space plane that never was, Tom Nardi wrote that once the XS-1 spacecraft reached Apogee, quote, it would release a dorsal-mounted payload module. This module, itself essentially a small rocket, would continue the mission independently. Already traveling at a high velocity through the thin upper atmosphere, it would be able to push the payload the rest of the way up the hill and into orbit with a comparatively low thrust engine. The Phantom would then fall back into Earth, re-entering the atmosphere at subsonic speeds. Its wing design would then give it a cross-range compatibility to glide back to the launch site. Refurbishment and maintenance between flights would be minimum to allow the Phantom to be launched several times with other upper stage payloads. A strange cancellation. Phase two of the project began in 2019, with continuous tests of the Aerojet Rocketdyne AR-22 engine. According to Spaceflight's 2017 article about the Phantom Express design, quote, The AR-22 is a staged combustion engine with two separate preburners that drive separate high-pressure turbo pumps, delivering liquid oxygen oxidizer and liquid hydrogen fuel received from independent low-pressure turbo pumps to the main combustion chamber, which employs regenerative cooling provided by fuel circulation through the chamber and nozzle wall. The engine passed a grueling 10-day, 10-firing test that proved its compatible capabilities. The project seemed to be going as expected, until Boeing unexpectedly announced that it was pulling out from the Phantom Express development on January 22, 2020. Boeing issued a statement that read, quote, We will now redirect our investment from XSP to other Boeing programs that span the sea, air, and space domains. We're proud to have been part of a DARPA-led industry team that collaborated to advance launch-on-demand technology. The space industry was stunned. DARPA then issued another statement through Space.com that said, quote, The detailed engineering activities conducted under the Experimental Space Plane Program affirmed that no technical showstoppers stand in the way of achieving DARPA's objectives, 
and that a system such as XSP would bolster national security. Through XSP, DARPA identified evidence that present-day liquid rocket propulsion systems are capable of supporting XSP objectives, remain of interest, and may be explored in separate efforts. To this day, speculation on Boeing's reasons to leave the project still runs rampant. Some analysts believe that the military took over the project, like they did with the X-37D prototype, because they saw its potential as a space weapon. The XS-1 program was also seen by experts as a defense against other weapons, such as damaging spacecraft and rockets coming from Russia and China. Military planners expected that if a future war broke out, the Earth's orbit could become a battleground of weaponized satellites. The nation that could recover faster would stand a chance to dominate space, and that's where the Phantom Express would come in. For now, the project is classified, and the Phantom Express's true potential remains unknown.